Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Over the last six months, there has been dozens of news headlines, articles, videos claiming that data scientist job family will be automated by AI. In fact, IBM recently paused 6,000 jobs across different job families because they believe that AI will replace jobs. The recent launch of Code Interpreter by OpenAI has many triggered because it can automatically create data visualizations once you import data. So the question is, will data scientist job be automated by AI? The short answer is yes and no. I know it's confusing, so let's go through a real world data science project example and see how AI can automate data scientist job family. This is an actual project that I worked on as a junior data scientist and is currently listed on my resume. So watch till the end of the video to get a better idea of how data science will be automated by AI. Data scientists use advanced statistics and machine learning techniques to solve business and product problems. In order to talk about the project, I'm going to be following the data science project lifecycle framework, which is typically six steps. It starts with problem definition, data collection, data exploration, data cleaning, model building and iteration, and communication. So as I talk about this project, I'm going to be following this framework. The project name is Pre-Trigger Alarm. And wait till end of the video to see what why it's actually called Pre-Trigger Alarm. Uh, there is a specific reason. A few years ago, I worked as a junior data scientist. My team supported experimentation for the entire company and we would get involved. The data scientists in our team would get involved in special use cases which cannot be solved with simple experimentation solution. So this project that I got to work on started with a very ambiguous problem with the checkout team. So think about an e-commerce website. When you go and purchase your order, you check out and you make your, give your credit card, your information, your shipping information, and you check out. Project started with a very ambiguous problem statement. The problem statement was we ran checkout experiments and the results do not look good. <laughs> Okay, let's say if this is a question that I'm coming up with today, can I use ChatGPT to answer this question and get a solution? The answer is no. Because the problem is so ambiguous, I need to ask further clarification question to understand what exactly we're trying to solve. So I scheduled a meeting with the PM and we started having a discussion where I asked a lot of questions regarding the problem in order to understand fully. Eventually ended up learning that team is actually seeing a lot more repeat orders right after customers make a purchase. Logically, when a customer makes a purchase, purchase, they wouldn't be making another purchase in a few seconds. Again, in this step, when it comes to data collection, in today's world, AI tools can probably not help here. Unless your company is fully integrated with AI tools where you can quickly ask questions where this data exists and get an answer, that's where this part could be automated. But as of now, even the companies that are fully integrated with AI tools have not been able to solve this challenge. So again, at this step, I started collecting data, started looking at orders data, started looking at customers click level data, uh, started looking at their basically their entire journey from like order placement to thank you page to future activities. So in this step, I started doing data exploration, data manipulation and data cleaning. This step, let's say if I had access to AI tools, I would use the AI tools to to clean up the data, to create visualizations, to understand specific trends in the data. So yes, this step in today's world and possibly in the future, we're going to see more and more of data exploration and data cleaning being automated with AI tools. The requirement is that your company is fully invested in AI tools. After doing the data exploration and uh, looking at specific customer purchase trends, I ended up identifying that there is an order data logging issue where customers timestamps, purchase timestamps were getting shifted forward, which is why we we were seeing a lot of repeat orders, which we shouldn't expect right after you have placed one order. On the topic of data exploration, I wanted to share this free Excel template for generating ideas on data visualization, which can be super handy when doing data exploration in your data analysis stage. It is created by HubSpot, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The template comes with two Excel files, one basic and one advanced, both of which has dozens of visualization samples that you can use and plug and play. For example, let's say in this project, I want to see the number of orders placed by timestamp. There's so many ways I can visualize this and I'll obviously use Python functionalities to do some acceleration. But let's say if I want to do something quick and dirty, I can borrow this Excel template, plug my data and quickly create visualizations to find trends in the data. Looking at these Excel graphs and templates is actually a good mental exercise that gives you a good idea of what would work better with your data. I'm linking the Excel graph template below. It's available to download free, so feel free to check it out. Now let's go back to the project and talk about how I model the data to solve the problem with order data logging issue. I ended up talking to the order data logging team and they told me that this is going to be a long-term solution
solution that they're currently working on. There is an upstream issue in the order data logging. But in the meantime, the checkout team had a calendar that they were planning to follow for that year, which means they have already run experiments which are uh, impacted by this order data logging issue and they needed to do two things. One, they needed to identify experiments that were suffering from this issue and they needed an interim solution, basically a bandit solution that will solve the problem so they can still use the results from those experiments so they don't go to waste. So in the data modeling piece, if I had access to AI tools, I would again be using a tool such as ChatGPT and BART to generate ideas. What are the models that are available in statistics and machine learning to identify these order timestamp related issues? So let's say back then I had access to ChatGPT. This is exactly what I would ask. Okay, so the prompt that I wrote is write a statistical analysis techniques for understanding time to event data. So here, uh, ChatGPT is actually explaining really nicely what time to event data is and what are the different statistical techniques I can use to actually identify um, that issue. Basically, the answer that I'm looking for is some sort of survival analysis. And what I ended up using in the actual model was the, the first option was the kaplan meier estimator to do the survival analysis at different time windows. So let's say I pick the kaplan meier estimator, aka window analysis. Now I can ask ChatGPT to actually write that code for me, for me to get started. Obviously, I'm not going to use that code exactly. I would need to customize it and I would need to make it my own. But this ChatGPT could help me here to basically code the window analysis code real fast. Can you write Python code to do Kaplan Mayer estimator on revenue on time estimator on revenue purchase order on orders and time stamp data. So this gave me like the ChatGPT gave me a windowed analysis code that I can use and plug in plug in my data and make it custom and make it my own. So eventually when I ended up doing the windowed analysis, I ended up identifying the right window that I would use to identify if an experiment is serving from timestamp or timestamp order data logging issue. Basically ended up productionizing this model that I built in the experimentation tool, the primary experimentation tool in itself. So in the future, if the team were to run any experiments, it will automatically alarm if an experiment was suffering from suffering from order data logging issue. So now this goes back to the name of the project, which was called pre trigger alarm. Basically, if a, there is an order data logging issue, it will trigger an alarm. So let's say in the project lifecycle, I have defined the problem, I have collected the data, did data exploration, data cleaning, data modeling. Now it's time for me to communicate. Eventually ended up taking the insights from this modeling exercise to the checkout team. Can I use generative AI? Can I use AI tools to solve communication for me? Yes, today I can basically create very nice summaries if I give some input uh, to these tools, ChatGPT and BARD and any of the generative AI tools are able to like nicely create summaries for me that I can share with the stakeholders. So going back to the data science project example that I shared, AI tools such as ChatGPT and BARD can be really, really useful in data exploration and coding pieces, but the overarching project still requires a human to execute to ask the right questions. Oftentimes the stakeholders, the client, the PMs that we ended up, that we end up working with don't even know what type of questions to ask. So unless until they are fully educated on the data science spectrum, data scientist job family is not going anywhere. What are your thoughts on this topic? Do you think data scientist job family will be replaced by AI? Let me know in comments and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.